Good morning, internet friends. Found myself in Minnesota this morning. And look, no snow. Wonderful, because back home, like a few hours in front of us to the left. So I'm facing straight north right now. I'm headed back up to Kenora, Ontario, but I live in Manitoba. It's a little west, northwest of here. They got a whole ton of snow overnight and it's still snowing there. And there's a winter storm warning in effect. That winter storm warning doesn't affect me here on this road between Kenora and Brainerd, Minnesota. So we get to enjoy these nice dry, dry roads. I got unloaded this morning and now I'm headed up towards the Rainy River crossing from Bodette, Minnesota into Rainy River, Ontario. I cross into Canada there, make my way up to Kenora. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get reloaded today yet. We're gonna give it our best shot, but it's gonna be pretty late when I get there. We'll see what they say. I might have to wait till morning. Bodette, Minnesota, on the U.S. side from Rainy River. It's going to be so close. I don't know if I'm going to get loaded today. I have a feeling I'm probably going to get loaded tomorrow morning. wait and uh, get in line tonight, right? I don't like being this late. I don't like showing up right at the end of the day. Always makes me feel bad. Sometimes it's just my the way my day works out though, you know? There's nothing I can really do to help that. They don't want to load me, they don't want to load me. Turn right on, International Drive, MN72. There's the Trump sign on the right. Big sign coming into town. That's how you know you're in Bodette. It's the Trump Keep America Great. Well, I guess you know who this town voted for. In 600 meters, turn right on International Drive and N72. Where do I gotta turn? Yeah, I gotta go over the river first. Quite a bit of people here. Meters, turn right on International Drive and N72. 
It's crazy to think that, like this isn't the Mississippi, but it's crazy to think that the Mississippi River starts way up here in Minnesota, right? Goes all the way down to the south end of the states. That'd be a fun adventure to go all the way down the Mississippi, all the way from Minnesota all the way down. I missed my turn, didn't I? I did. I missed my turn. Okay, well, I've never done that before. Wonder where I can turn around. Huh. <laughs> Whoops. In 400 meters, turn left on Main Street West, and then 11 and then turn right in 30 meters. I know, Karen, I wasn't listening. You know, women say we don't listen. Maybe they got a point. She was telling me to turn, wasn't she? Wasn't listening. Now I gotta find a place to turn around. In 200 meters, turn left on Main Street West, and then 11 and then turn right in 30 meters. Looks like Karen's got it sorted out for me. <laughs> okay, so I can come back down here and I go around. Where? That is not a road, Karen. I can't go down there. Oh boy. Oh, this is fun. Turn right and then turn right in 100 meters. Is that a big driveway? Yeah, there we go. I can turn around at this uh, gas station up here. There's diesel pumps. That means they expect diesel trucks in there. Oh, lots of room. Well, there's a truck stop here. meters, turn right on 2nd Street and then turn right in 140 meters. I got it figured out, Karen. I got it figured out. I'll fix my own mistake. Nice big truck stop back here. Never knew that. Of course, on a day when I'm uh, already in a rush, right? I don't really got time to be wasting. What are these guys doing parked right in the middle of the driveway here? Look at this guy. This guy's literally parked right in the middle of the yard. Oh, that's a parking spot. No way, they got parking spots painted there. He's not in a spot. He's taken up like four spots, but they have lines painted there. Ha! Huh. I guess I'll go turn around back here. Adventures with Trucker Josh. Next time my wife says I don't listen, you guys can all tell her that she's right. All right, only once though, okay? You can only use that one once. I don't want to be hearing about that five years down the road. Oh, look, that guy's gonna move now. You know, I always want to have uh, spent chalk in my vehicles when I go to the shopping mall and stuff. I've always wanted to do that so that when people park like that in like two different spots, and they or they take up two spots, I always want to like draw parking lines around their car and then right on the pavement, like good job or something. You guys seen that online when people do that? It's so frustrating. Oh, that wasn't so bad. That was easily fixed. One kilometer, turn left on International Drive. I'm LX listening. 72. I heard this time. Left on International Drive. My bad. Well, you guys want to see Bodette again? They got a Dollar General. That means they've made it, right? Dollar General is sort of like Dollarama in Canada. Same thing. Every town's got one. Are you really a town if you don't have a Dollarama or a Dollar General? That's serious questions you gotta ask yourself. Dodge Ram with his tow mirrors out and he's actually towing a trailer. Did you see that? Usually they got their tow mirrors out and they got no trailer behind them. Okay, so not this street, not the next one. Meters, There's a no truck sign right here on the right. International Drive, MN72. There's a no trucks down this road. It's the one right after this one. There we go. It's at the fish. I knew that. Why was I so distracted? 
not watching where I'm going. Well, I'm watching where I'm going. I'm not going to hit anything, but missed my turn. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Sending it. that's 
just right up my rear end. I'm doing the speed limit, but they want to go faster, very clearly. Either that or they're trying to read the fine print on the stickers on the back of my trailer. There's some like warning labels back there or something. right behind me. Oh, well, it doesn't bother me if they hit me. There won't even be a scratch on my trailer. Look at this. Some of my favorite views coming through here. It's crazy how much the terrain and the, the, the land changes, eh? Just like 30 miles south of here was all flat land, bush and forest. I believe it's like this all the way up to the Hudson's Bay. You keep going north. You have to go up the winter roads to get up there, though, because I don't think there's any actual developed roads going that far north. Maybe there is. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Once we get up this hill, this guy's probably going to go blowing past me. Sixty through here, I believe. Solid lines. Let's see. You gonna do it? No, he's gonna wait till we're out of town. Did he go for it? No, he wants to be right behind me. Still doesn't want to pass. If you want to get past me, you're gonna have to go fast. Cause I'm doing the speed limit. It's not the prettiest. The front looks all right, besides the fact it's being dirt. Uh, besides the fact that it's dirty, and I have a patch up there that's coming off. Classy, nothing but class. The back is pretty ugly. Let's be honest. It's got an ugly rear end. Look at that. Ugh, that's ugly. But you know what? I'm okay with it because I'm loaded and tarped tonight. We made it. Man. See, it's more patched than tarp. You see that? Oh, these tarps are just brutal. They're holding together right now, but I really need to replace them. So like I was saying yesterday, I'm gonna go and find some good tarps. I need a set of three, I believe eight foot sides, uh, two ends, one center, and they have to be blue, like these. I'm gonna find some good tarps and I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and just buy them. I use these things like every day, so it's it's time. All right, okay, so what I'm gonna do tonight, now that I'm loaded, I'm going to uh, go down to Fort Francis. I'm not cleared for the border and I won't be cleared for the border till the morning, but I can get up to the US border. So we'll go to Fort Francis and go to bed there.
we made it here to Fort Francis. There's a whole bunch of other trucks. I don't know if you can see them here or not, but there's a couple behind me. This guy uh, right beside me here, I parked a little bit further forward than him because I don't think he has a muffler on his APU. I know, he just wants to stay warm. Yeah, but uh, we need to fix that muffler. So I move forward a little bit, so a little bit quieter here. So now we're just waiting for our customs and border clearance. I'm just gonna double check that it's not done yet, but uh, that might come through in the morning. So we'll be patient and wait. If it comes through in the morning, then it comes through in the morning. I'll be ready to go here first thing. Uh, so the plan for tomorrow is run down to Brainerd with this load that I picked up, deliver it as early as possible, and then pretty much just shoot myself straight home. Brit's egg retrieval is the day after tomorrow. And I have to be home for that. And it's going to be early in the morning. So I want to get home at a decent time tomorrow so that we can get to bed at a good time that I'm not interrupting her sleep coming home. She needs to be rested. Uh, it's a pretty invasive procedure, as you can imagine. Uh, this is the procedure where they go and uh, take the eggs out of her ovaries that have been growing in there uh, all month. And that's why she's been taking all those needles that you saw in a couple of my past videos there. Uh, it's just... Uh, I don't want to say brutal because it's sort of a, a beautiful process. It's amazing what modern technology and medicine can do nowadays. Uh, but it's, it is pretty brutal on her body. Uh, it's very hard on her body. So uh, this is the big one. We've got to go there and get this done. Now my part also comes the day after tomorrow. So uh, I feel very important. I might wear a tie. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> That's my one part in this whole process. <laughs> I only got one thing I gotta do. I got one job. Uh, so, <laughs> we're gonna try to get home tomorrow as early as we can. If I gotta go home empty, I gotta go home empty. That's fine. Uh, there might be some freight to pick up along the way, but I, quite honestly, I don't even want to pick it up. I want to get home as early as possible. Unless if it's something really easy. Like sometimes we run over to Thief River Falls if there's something there. We just pick up crates and stuff. And it's super quick and easy to tie down. And it's literally right on the way home. So that would work out. But, uh, my, can't always choose what I pull, right? I take what's available at the time. And uh, we'll see what's available tomorrow. If there's nothing, I'm not going to cry about it. I just, uh, as soon as I'm empty, I'm just jetting home. So please, tune in tomorrow. Uh, hang out with me as I uh, rush around here in Minnesota. From Ontario to Minnesota, I'm back home to Manitoba. And then I'll be home for a couple of days home for the Wednesday and the Thursday and Thursday afternoon we're probably gonna get going again we'll talk about that later I'm climbing back there I'm going to bed I'll take care everybody we'll see you tomorrow if you want to support me the best thing you can do it's free hit that subscribe button down below and the bell button if you are already subscribed do me a favor just go down below just make sure you're still subscribed I've heard of people being unsubscribed for some reason I don't know if that's a big thing or not just double sure you're still subscribed click that button if you're not and if you want to go one step further and join the members family you can get early access to videos and access to members only content uh, by clicking that join now button you can read more about it there it's right below my video or it's on my main page on my channel take care everybody see you in the morning